here we have a short clip about a man by the name of Dexter Wade who was struck by police, beaten by the cops, and then buried in an unmarked grave while the cops lied and said they didn't know where this person's body was. This is truly horrific. Uh, knowing that cops kill people and then cover it up, especially after beating the person and after running them over. How monstrous of a person can you be to do something like this? And if these people don't get prison time, then there's something truly wrong with the U.S. justice system. We are hearing more tonight about the preliminary findings from an autopsy on a man hit and killed by an off-duty officer and buried without his family's knowledge. Yeah, civil rights attorney Ben Crump shared the report on social media platform X. Dexter Wade was struck by an off-duty JPD officer in a patrol car back in March. According to a report, he had multiple blunt force injuries to the skull, ribs, and pelvis. His leg was also amputated. The release also said that Wade's body was not... Wow. Either they hit him so hard that the vehicle cut off his leg um, that they were able to identify that he was hit by a car uh, via autopsy. I'm making the assumption that there were some tread marks on him, but wow, to hit somebody so hard that it amputates their leg, either it was done when he got hit by a car, by the cop car, or they cut his leg off afterwards. Not embalmed, and his wallet was found in the front pocket of his jeans. That wallet included his state ID, credit card, and health insurance card. All they had to do was look at their own accident report. His name was on the accident report, and they knew where he lived at because he had medication in his pocket that had his doctor, and the doctor told them that Ms. Bettison was his next of kin. And it is unbelievable that they want us to believe they didn't know who she was. The full results of the autopsy are expected to be released soon. More on the findings in this report, and we'll hear from Wade's mother coming up at 6. I, I so hope that these cops, who, uh, whoever did it, the ones that are protecting the ones that did it, and any that know about what happened and have not come forth about it, they all need to be put on trial for murder um, and being accessories to murder. Uh, this is just sick.